Hello, welcome to my YouTube page and this is a tutorial on how to make a book cover for Lulu. So if you are self-publishing on lulu.com, this is going to be very helpful to you. I had to figure this out through much trial and much error. So now I'm going to give you the easy way to get your one piece book cover together. Okay, so when you go to lulu.com to create your project, you can choose all the specifications, but you wanna click download template. So this is where you get the elements that I'm going to show you for your template. Once you download that, I'm using a Photoshop, right? So you want to first create your base according to the specifications that Lulu gives you. So once you upload your files, it will take you to cover. And this is, this is where you find the requirements for the one piece cover. So now let's go to Photoshop and we are going to create a new document with the specifications for my book. Um, and they will be different, like I said, depending on the style of the book that you chose. So my dimensions came out as 46, 43 wide and 29, 79 high. You wanna make sure it's in landscape format. Make sure the resolution is 300 DPI and that it's in RGB color mode and this is our background, which is just a solid white. If you need to switch to inches or centimeters or anything like that, you can click that download arrow. We're going to keep it at pixels. Okay, and just click create. So this is the base for our cover. So you want to click open and you want to go to the template pieces that you downloaded. Let's start with the front cover right and open that up if this is not already in JPEG format you might want to go ahead and save it in JPEG format it isn't absolutely necessary but JPEGs just make it easier to make a copy so this is a background only which means it is locked you need to click control J at this point to make a copy Here's a copy. Now you want to take the move tool and we're going to move it over to our blank page. So hit arrange, whichever one vertically or horizontally, make sure the move to tool is selected. So here is the front cover and I'm moving it to our blank document and just right click consolidate all to here. So you want to move your front cover template image all the way over to the right hand side of the screen and of the page. This is where your front cover will be positioned. So let's open the template for the back cover and do the same thing. Again, control J, back cover. Let's move it to our blank document, which is all the way up here. Again, hit consolidate all to here. Now you move this back cover image over to the left hand side of your screen and make sure that you've gotten the edges lined up just right. Now the spine automatically appears, right? So you don't have to worry about those calculations. So this is what your setup will look like for a one piece Lulu cover. Now you need to know how to get your ISBN onto your cover without making it blurry. All right. So let's hit open again. When you download the ISBN from Lulu, it will actually come as a PDF file and Photoshop opens PDF files. So we'll do that. You need to convert this to a JPEG. So we'll just simply click File, Save As, and click JPEG, and save it. And click OK. So already, I already have the JPEG image open. So again, you wanna hit Control J 
So here is the JPEG version of the ISBN barcode. You want to click the rectangular marquee pointer and select the image. Go to edit and click copy. All right, so let's go to our base cover, our one piece cover. Take that same marquee rectangle tool and you want to highlight the area on the template where the ISBN should appear, right? And it has been selected. Now you want to click edit, go to paste special and click paste into. And it has pasted into the area you selected. Now, do not resize this image. What you want to do is what I did was to click the move tool and click control T and stretch it out. No, do not do that. Just simply position it as you will in this area. But do not resize it to try to stretch it out. When your book proof comes, this should look clear and not blurry because you did not resize it. So I'll zoom in. so that you can see it is clear. So it will print out clearly. Just for the heck of it, let's see what happens if you try to resize it. So I'm clicking Control T and let's say we stretch it out anyway. You can already see that it's beginning to get blurry. It is beginning to look unclear. Right. So it might look clear here, but I'm going to tell you what will happen. When you get your book proof, it's going to look blurry if you resize it. So do not resize it. Okay, so this is how you set up your one piece book cover for Lulu. And when you get done, perhaps your cover will look something like mine. I am very proud of this cover. It's for my new grammar book coming out. So you can go from this, just a blank template to this and of course when you get it all done and it's looking all pretty like this you want to go to layer flatten the image so that all of the layers are flattened into one solid image then you click file save as and save it as a print quality pdf file but you have to remember to flatten the image before saving it to a PDF file. And I'm not going to go through all of that, but okay, so that's it. That is how you create a one piece book cover for Lulu. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your self-publishing journey.